Kill the orcs, slay the orcs, destroy the orcs! Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Mid-Atlantic Mauling League's Chaos Cup. It's week number one in a brand new season. And I'm really excited tonight. <laughs> tonight it's going to be... Uh, it might be a good one. I'll try to make it a good one. <laughs> it's me tonight. Dead Kennedys versus the White Skull Windbreakers. Amy Unit 2 versus Doug the Minotaur. Oh, Frosty Shakes. Welcome to the stream. Thank you very much. Uh, Doug the Minotaur, League Champion. Undead versus Orcs. We're going to destroy. We're going to try to destroy his Orc team tonight. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Let's take a look at the standings before we look at the, take a look at these two teams. In week one so far, tied for first place. I want to be like Doug, coached by Richard Cradian of a dwarf team. They're in first place, along with Clypheus, Nuffle to see here. Uh, season two champion, Chaos Chosen team, winning their game this week. And in third place, War Horseman's Chaos Renegade team, juxtaposed juggernauts there. Tied for first as well. Tizzle Bizzle, welcome to the stream. Dead Kennedys and the White Skull Windbreakers up tonight. First up, the home team, my team, the Dead Kennedys, coming in at a 11 player roster, as you do. Uh, we've got uh, the two mummies, the two whites, two ghouls, and everybody else is a zombie on this roster. TV uh, 990, 990,000 gold is what we're worth tonight. We uh, we have our, our natural dedicated fan and three re-rolls. The two mummies, of course, have Mighty Blow. Uh, in this version of the game, it's Mighty Blow plus one, the, the standard quote unquote Mighty Blow. The two white blitzers being blitzers have the block skill, the two ghoul runners uh, a little more fragile with that AV of eight plus, but they do have the dodge skill and they have a pretty good MA of seven. Everybody else is a Zombo, an MA of four is not great. AV of nine plus, strength of three, pretty decent, but look at this, everybody except the ghoul runners have regeneration. We can't bring an apothecary onto our roster, that's because we have a necromancer. We can regenerate anyone except the ghoul runners. It's a 50-50 on a casualty. <laughs> Welcome, Doug. <laughs> Tonight we're gonna be up against Doug's team. Let's take a look. Let's take a look. The White Skull Windbreakers, an 11 player roster. Four of the big and blockers, they have the strength of four. He's got four blitzers. They have the block skill, of course. Uh, two linemen and a gobbo on this roster. Four blitzers is huge for a low TV team. Coming in a TV of uh, one million right on the nose has three rerolls as well. You can see most of this team has animosity. The four blitzers, the four blitzers have animosity towards everyone. So if they hand off or pass the ball to any other, uh, any other teammate, they're uh, they're gonna have to get through a d6 roll first. <laughs> Otherwise, they're gonna snub their nose at their fellow player. The big and blockers have animosity towards themselves, as do the orc linemen. They they don't like each other. Uh, otherwise, uh, this is a pretty standard bashy running uh, team. He's got a lot of strength, and where he doesn't have the strength, he makes up for it with block. Big big AV with that 10 plus. It's gonna be hard to remove these players from the pitch. Not terribly fast, but not terribly slow. A number of players with an MA of six. Everybody else has an MA of five, so pretty decent all around. The Goblin, of course, has the dodge skill as well. How are the two teams gonna play? <laughs> How are the two teams gonna play? Uh, well, I think for me, it's gonna be standard undead rules, right? I'm just gonna try to bash them into the ground. Uh, I think that's that's our plan tonight. If we're on offense and we can open up that hole and break three, uh, break three, break free hopefully with more than three <laughs> we're gonna break free with our fastest players our ghouls and our whites and uh, just try to get that ball into the end zone on defense we just want to muss them up with our mummies our mummies with that strength of five and that mighty blow uh if uh we're almost guaranteed to get the two die blocks but if we're lucky not even lucky if we're tactical <laughs> we, we're gonna try to set up the three die blocks as well and just try to pummel some of these opponents whether they go on the line or not i haven't yet decided <laughs> i don't know if i want the mummies on the line or if i want the mobile they only have an ma3 meaning uh when they are marking someone they're getting a block almost certainly um but if they get knocked down all they do is stand up unless you uh blitz with them and uh if they get marked they're not getting away at least not until they get some skills like uh 
So it's going to be tough for, the, uh, for me to decide where those mummies are going to be. I think they're probably going to end up online, however. Doug, however, I think he's going to play a bit more of a... I mean, he's definitely a bashy team. I think he's going to play a bit more of a positional game. He wants these players to be in the correct positions. He, he wants to make sure that whoever's tying up the mummies are the people he doesn't want the mummies to be tied up with, right? He wants to keep certain players mobile and available. Uh, he'll probably have those blitzers mobile and available to get those, those uh, two die blocks with the block skill that's very strong at this uh, low TV. It's very strong all around, really. Um, where he puts those big unblockers, he might put them on the on the line to try to negate those mummies if I put them on the line. Uh, with a strength of four, that just means one more assist will give him the one die, and then one more will give him the two die. If he can knock down mummies, he can basically take them out of the entire drive because all they'll be doing is standing back up. Uh, whether he goes in aggressive like that or he kind of pulls off the line and tries to be mobile, that's where his game's going to be tonight. Three rerolls apiece. And I forgot to mention, tonight's a double header. After this game, we've got a, another game coming up. I don't know what it is. Let me see what it is. Ah, uh, yes, it's going to be SP Beaver versus El Nuverino. That's going to be another undead team versus Underworld. I'm excited for that. That's going to be uh, roughly 9 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That's uh, about two hours from now. Uh, but I imagine it'll probably start right after our game. So without further ado, let's see if Doug's ready. It looks like Doug's ready. Doug is indeed ready. So why don't we just get into this competition and get this game in week one underway. B.1234, welcome to the stream. He says, are you playing tonight? I am indeed. Oh, I didn't get to see what his motto was. Mine, of course, is it's a holiday in Cambodia. SP Beaver says, I'm counting on you to show me how to use mummies. Don't count on me! <laughs> I'm the wrong person to count on! <laughs> oh, look at that. Boo! Hiss! Boo! Boo! <laughs> but we both have the same coach. <laughs> Too bad I don't have any of my lovely cheerleaders. Here we go. Who's going to win the coin toss? Uh, nothing, so I'm ready. I'm ready. Let's call Windbreakers win the toss. We'll see if they're on offense or defense to start with. He's choosing to set up a defense first, so we'll be on offense. If he can stop the score in the first half, he's going to try to ride it out for eight turns in the second half and win the game. Even better if he can recover this ball in this first half and score defensively. They'll be in great shape for the second half. Blood Bowl 3. Each player has these reserve clocks. Here and here. So unlike Blood Bowl 2, um, if you run out of time, you've got a reserve of 7 minutes 30 seconds, so if there's a if there's a really important turn, you can take your time. All right. Doug setting up with uh, what looks to be a really wide uh, chevron here, so he's going to try to be mobile. Uh, so let's see if I can figure out how my formations work. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! That's not how it works at all! <laughs> Great! 
<laughs> All right, we lost the turn there. All right, let's try to recover this. <laughs> turn two. Oh, no. All right, you're going to go. Uh... Uh, let's see. Let's just pull you in. Uh, let's get the knockdown here. Um, it'll go here. Oh, I don't know. Um, stay put. Could have freed up the white here, but uh, that's all right. I think we're going to go for the ball pickup. Um, and we'll go here. And um, let's try to free up this way. Let's go. All right, that'll be our turn, man. Oh man, <laughs> boy, what, what a mistake! <laughs> These are gonna happen as we're new to Blood Bowl Three. It's our first season in Blood Bowl Three. That's not how you set up your formations at all. <laughs> the big end turn button ends your turn. Who would have known? <laughs> turn two now for the white, for the white skull windbreakers. Sizzle Pizzle asks, so does each coach play one match a week in Mammal? Yes, they do. They play one match a week um, for the competition. The top four will advance to a single elimination bracket. We have three open competitions each season, so people can come and go uh, for, each comp uh, for each competition. And then we have a fourth Invitational. That's our championship at the end of the season. Doug the Minotaur trying to get behind this uh, this offense here, trying to get the assists, trying to pick off some of these offensive players. Gets a push on Michael Kennedy, the ghoul runner who unfortunately ended up on the line. <laughs> gets a pal here against Carolyn Bessett Kennedy, the number night, the number night, the number nine white blitzer. Did I block another pal, this time against East Bay Ray, the number 10 mummy. It costs three MA to stand up, so since he's getting knocked down here, providing he stays on the pitch, uh, it's gonna cost all three MA to stand back up. It's still on the table, five seconds to go. 
takes a mark on Robert F. Kennedy, Kennedy, the number four lineman on the front left corner of the ball carrier to get the assist for the blitz. Gets a knockdown, gets a stun. Still has some movement. Stays put. Two more players left to go. Dipping into his reserve time. Remember, it's 7 minutes 30 seconds for the entire game. Doesn't reset at the half. Turn three and a half for the dead Kennedys. Boy. <laughs> well. <laughs> um, you're going to stand up. Um, You are... Probably gonna dodge away. Oof, oof, oof. Um, let's put. Let's, um, let's go ahead and move you. Uh, here. 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 And, um, let's go ahead and blitz a few. and get the two die with the block skill here. We're gonna get the pal. And we're gonna move you um, here. And we're gonna sleep up. And I think we'll stay put here and then you are gonna come back out. No, you're gonna come this way. down to 5 minutes 57 seconds. Oh no! <laughs> Turn 3 for the White Skull Windbreakers. Upalash says, I love when Ava narrates his games. His voice. He voices all the thoughts I have when I'm playing. <laughs> Assist two die block on Klaus Fluoride. Gets the knockdown, doesn't break armor. Had to dedicate another player to get the die block. He frees up the number two blocker. Considering his turn here, he's under a minute to play. And I'm trying to figure out where to go. He's going to blitz Michael Kennedy. This works out due to the block skill. Breaks armor. Yeah, that would break armor. That was, that was brutal. Gets a stun out of it. Zombies are very cheap players. They're very good. They're deceptively good, right? MA4 is not great. Strength of 3 is average. AG4 is average. But they're so inexpensive, and they have regen. That makes them... Uh, some of the best linemen in the game, in my opinion. Plus, you can sometimes get them for free. <laughs> What's called Windbreakers trying to cover the left wide zone here. 
Bringing in a mark on East Bay Ray. Two die block. Got the push. Gonna get another block out of this. Gets a knockdown this time. This is gonna free up two players. Doesn't go down. Needs a 10 plus on those mummies. Neither of these teams really a passing team. We uh, will probably not see a single pass all game, but you know, it depends. It depends on how the game plays out. Other than maybe for some SVP or something. Turn four now for the Dead Kennedys. Um, hmm. <laughs> Why don't we... Who I want to go after, but I don't have a lot of time to decide. Let's go ahead and stand up. Um, <laughs> do I want to go after Argle Biscuit here? I'm sorry, Argle Air Biscuit. <laughs> Tizzle Bizzle Praying and Nuffle. <laughs> um, let's see. Um, You know what? I think I am. Why not? Scared zombies don't make no zombies, as they say. Do they say that? I don't think they say that. We're gonna go here. We're gonna go here. Let's go. Oh, I should have moved my ball carrier. That's all right. Let's go. Pow. Kapow. Kablamo. Um, let's put you over here. Let's stay put. You'll go here. We'll mark him. We've got a mark on the cage. Um, we'll do this. Call that a turn. Final turn of the first quarter. Turn four for the White Skull Windbreakers. Two dive block over on the right wide zone. Gets the knockdown here. Keeping these mummies tied up and out of the play. That's what we talked about in the pregame. Keep them out of the drive, rather. Stands up Air Biscuit, the number three big and blocker. in the first quarter. Dog the Minotaur, current league champion with his his win in season three with the Dinner Bell Darlings, a dwarf team. I believe he only lost three games all season. Tudai Block gets a push against the number nine, White Blitzer. It's going to push her into the cage, right in the front of the cage. High block rolls double skulls has to spend a reroll on this. Got a push against East Bay Ray. There's another block on this mummy coming up, but it eats up another player. That's uh, one of the purposes of these mummies is to just chew up opposing players, just make them spend activations. Gets a pal this time. 
if you can at all help it, uh, another good approach with the mummies, because they have that mighty blow, is to kind of keep them off the line, keep them grouped together, try to get those three die mighty blow blocks, and then they can just start removing people left and right. Shifting his secondary here. Both safeties in the position. More, more like linebackers, I suppose. The Goblin and one of the Blitzers. Takes a mark on this cadre of players in front of the cage. Going for the Blitz. Two die Blitz. Double Skulls! I'll have to re-roll this! Gets the knockdown this time. White Skull Windbreaker is down to one reroll that got the injury. Well done. Went in for the two die blitz, spent the reroll. And there's the injury. All right. Well, um. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, let's... Let's get two here, two here. He's keeping his formation pretty, pretty tight. Um, let's go this way, shall we? We were praying enough old tizzle tizzle with the kapow. Um, let's go here. And now let's. Oi, oi, oi. Where do I want this blitz to be? Um, probably here. But I want to do the dodge first. Let's go. Let's go. Good rush. Let's do it. Let's do it. One. <laughs> um. I am gonna reroll this. Hey, 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 hey! He'll go here, and you'll stay put. Um, and you'll go here. That'll be the end of our turn. Second quarter begins now, turn five. Turn five after the, uh, after the lost turn on the kickoff event. <laughs> SP Beaver says, where's the Prey to Corn option? Frosty Shake says, Corn demands skulls. Skulls for the Skull Throne, let's go! It's a knockdown on Robert F. Kennedy. He's gonna remain on the pitch. Cyanide had a corn faction in the original Blood Bowl game that they created. It was, it was pretty cool. Clypheus, boo! Boo! <laughs> Two dive block on JFK. Gets a pow here. He's looking for a nine plus to break armor. Doesn't break armor. Follows up. Two dive block on Ted Kennedy this time gets the knockdown. Doesn't follow up this time. Blitz still on the table. 45 seconds left of the turn. Oh, is corn in the uh, in BB twenty twenty?
25 seconds left in turn five. White Skull Windbreakers trying to decide where they want to place their line at the end of this turn. It's spread out, trying to cover the entire pitch. Oh, I see. That's cool, though. That's cool. Trying to shut off some movement options for this undead offense. Gets a pow on East Bay Ray. Moves in the left wide zone to try to shut off that, that shimmy to the left. And now getting aggressive on the right as well. Barking backside. Advances forward. Here's the blitz. Two die blitz. That'll work out. Gets the knockdown on Kathleen Kennedy. Still has some movement. Takes a mark on the ball carrier. Turn six for the dead Kennedys now. Lots of players prone, lots of players marked. See where we want Ted Kennedy when all is said and done here. Um, I think we want Ted Kennedy over here. So let's do this. Let's go. Oh, do we want to rush with him? Let's do this. Let's uh, let's do. Let's do that. Let's do, let's do the block first. Did I blitz with block skill? B -b 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 We're gonna push out of this. Um, we'll push you, push you here, I think. Um, let me see, put. I think um, boy, I really want to get some movement down pitch. Um, I think we'll go here. Get through plus dodge. Remember, he has a dodge skill as well. He gets a free reroll in case he fails the dodge. Now. <laughs> See if we can pass a GF. I'm sorry, a rush. See if we can pass a rush. All right. Uh, nobody is safe. <laughs> nobody is safe. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, go here. And let's get this ghoul into position. Two rushes. Uh, I gotta. I, I gotta. <laughs> I gotta. Down of rerolls. Oh, yikers. <laughs> Yik All right. Turn six for wins, uh, the uh, White Skull Windbreakers. Running out of turns here. Just two turns left to try to score. We gotta get in the scoring position on turn seven. Brings in the goblin for the assist. One cheek, one cheek, what? One cheek squeak. <laughs> Dude, I'm like, it's a pal JFK. Ball is up. Staying right in front of this offense. Just not giving up any bit of pitch to this undead team. Oh, 
Uh, he was going to blitz my ball carrier if I didn't. And that's my goal. I don't want to lose my goal in week one. <laughs> Two die block on Kathleen Kennedy. This will be a push result. Both coaches here really digging into this this reserve clock. Two die block back at center pitch. This is going to be a knockdown. <laughs> uh, boot polish roots for the defense. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for your kind words. <laughs> you know what? If Doug just doesn't murder my team, I'm going to consider this a victory. <laughs> White well, Skull Windbreakers into reserve time yet again. Trying to shut down this cage right here. Here's the blitz on Ted Kennedy. Two to eye blitz. Gets the knockdown thanks to the block skill. Breaks armor, gets a stun. That's, oh, gets KO. That's a great KO. Two-man player advantage now for the White Skull Windbreakers. Ho, 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 ho. <laughs> um, well. I mean, I mean, um, let's. Let's, um, let's hope for the best, right? <laughs> let's hope for the best. Uh, all right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. So we'll put the ghoul here. Uh, we'll take the blitz here and then hopefully get a knockdown. We can move blitz out of the way. Let's go. Let's go. One die blitz with the block skill. Let's do it. Ooh, yikes, yikes, yikes. <laughs> uh, all right, well, uh, you're going to go here. We're going to have to follow up. All right, David Kennedy. All right, David Kennedy, look at that. Look at that. I would say what are the odds, but it tells you right there. <laughs> oh, gosh. Um, um, uh, <laughs> oh, no. Um. Um, geez, I shouldn't waste time on this. Um, even if I get here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I still can't score. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'd have to get all the way down pitch. Boy, that's just not worth it if I want to save my ghoul. <laughs> Should I just run? Uh, uh, I think I'm just going to run. No, I'm going to go for it. I'm going to go for it. Who needs a ghoul? Who needs a ghoul? Not me, I say. Not me. Oh, my goodness. Oh, he passed the GF5. Of course he does. <laughs> Turn seven for the White Skull Windbreakers. <laughs> of all those die rolls, of all 500 die rolls. He fails the rush. <laughs> wow. There it is. <laughs> Had to go for the rush so I could get in the scoring position. Oh wait, did I did I go too far? I went one too far. Yeah, one too far.
push to get things started here on turn seven for the White Skull Windbreakers. Dead Kennedys can't score now, so three to stand up, so it'd be three, four, five, six, seven, one, two is as far as David Kennedy could go. Two die block on JFK gets a pal here. When you move a piece, when you move a player in the game of Blood Bowl, you can move your full movement allowance. So in this case here, this Blitzer has an MA of six. They can move six spaces in any direction. All eight adjacent spaces are uh, available, if they're open, of course. Uh, but you can also move up to two extra spaces, uh, certain skills notwithstanding. And that's called uh, rushing. And you have to roll a d6 for each one of those. And if you roll a one, you fall on your face and break armor. Double skulls on JFK. Rerolls it. Final reroll. That ain't gonna work. <laughs> that ain't gonna work. <laughs> All right. Turn eight for the Dead Kennedys. Final turn of this half. Um, you know what? He can stay prone. If you want to foul, be my guest. Um, that's a 10. That's a 10. That's a 10. Where's your goblin? Can't quite get there. Get the goblin here. Uh, five, six. Can't, ah, I can't get the seventh. Uh, I thought I'd have to be a two die. Um, oh, wait, is he going to try to pick this ball up? You. You cur. You. How dare you. How dare you. Um... Um, yeah, let's go after the goblin. Did I block on the goblin? That'll work out, do the block skill. Didn't break armor, boo, hiss, boo. Um, and then we'll blitz. Um, who probably want to blitz? Um, we'll blitz you. Did I blitz? I'm gonna push. Push him here. Follow up. And, uh, um, actually, you know what? I will stand him up. I will stand him up. And then you take a two guy block here. We'll get a pal. And then go here. Really no need to follow up there, but that's quite all right. That's going to be our turn. Turn eight, final turn of the first half. White Skull, Windbreakers successfully holding the dead Kennedys to zero touchdowns. Do it. I dare you. I don't oh know. I dared him and he did. <laughs> I dared him and Nuffle said, here's the, here's the pal you were looking for. Doesn't break armor. Going after the ghoul. Ghouls have the uh, lowest AV on the team with an AV of 8 plus, so it's uh, it's always a good idea to go ghoul hunting. Did I block its pal on Joseph P. Kennedy Jr.? Doesn't break armor. Just shy of the 9 plus he needed. Two die block on Kathleen Kennedy. He gets the knockdown here as well. Needs a nine plus. Pulling back the player that was in scoring position to get the assist against JFK. Two die block gets the knockdown. Just looking to put some hurt on here to finish up the half. And that's the half, 0-0 zero, zero at the half. The White Skull Windbreakers will be on offense to start the second half. Dead Kennedy is gonna get back there. KO a player, they're gonna be down a player. It'll be a one-man play advantage for the White Skull Windbreakers. 11 v 10 on the pitch. 
Oh, there's the formation right there. There's the formation button. I have a formation called Anti Doug. <laughs> um, let's do it. So we lost uh, a blitzer. Oh, it didn't, or either it didn't save or I didn't save it correctly. That's not my Anti Doug at all. Uh, all right, let's do this then. Um, Um, yeah, I think, th I think this will be okay. We might try to get in, get in heavy here on the corners. Um, or I could put my mummies on the line and just control center pitch. Um, that's an option as well. Uh, I think I'm going to do this. That's, I think that's going to be how we how we set up here. <laughs> Clarence says, yeah, don't select easy pass, Doug. <laughs> don't hit the pro, pro Doug button. <laughs> yeah, so by putting those three zombies on the line, he's... He's going to try to control mid-pitch. That's fine. Because we can bring in these, zo oh, these zombies, these mummies. Hopefully, we can position these mummies in such a way that we'll be able to get them on his cage and he won't be able to shake them off. Coming up after this game, we have the Dead Poets versus Stairway and Enuffle S. Beaver versus L. Nuberino. Undead versus Underworld Denizens. After that, there'll be one more game this week. That'll be tomorrow evening at uh, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It's UTC minus five-ish, four or five. I really should look that up. <laughs> I think it's UTC minus five. Um, I'll kick you. Just kick. Boy, oh boy. <laughs> Nuffle doesn't want us playing Blood Bowl tonight. <laughs> another timeout. We're going to lose another turn. 14 turn game this evening. Ball kicked to the opposing 12-yard line over in the right wide zone. Doug the Minotaur, league champion, and fielding this orc team. Two die block to get the half started. Gets a push on Joseph P. Kennedy Jr. He's going to push him over to the left side of the line. He'll get another block on him uh, shortly. He might be deciding whether he wants to spend. Uh, yeah, whether he wants to spend the. Uh, Blitzer not on this. He does. He gets another push result out of this. we will get a final two die block on Joseph P. Kennedy. But first, it's going to be a Blitzer who has the block skills. A little safer. So, uh, Blood Bowl is a game of uh, luck mitigation. You see that you're rolling lots and lots of dice. And generally speaking, with very few exceptions, if you fail a die roll, your turn is over. So, if you fail a die roll with the first activated player, you won't get to activate your remaining 10 players. And so you can see Doug, uh, well, rather, what you want to do is you want to do your least risky actions first, or your most risky, wait, your least risky actions first and your most risky actions last. There it is. <laughs> and so Doug there trying to take the blocks, the two die blocks with the block skill, that's 
less risky than a two die block without the skill, but boy, oh boy, not when you roll into triple skulls. Spends a reroll against Robert F. Kennedy. He'll get the knockdown here. Tizzle Bizzle, yeah, exactly right. Tizzle Bizzle says, I like to think of Blood Bowl as a game of risk management. I agree. Like he says, that's terrible to have to use a team reroll on that. No. <laughs> this time he says, no. <laughs> Double skulls, that'll be a turnover. <laughs> Uh, all right. Um, I don't know how aggressive I want to get. Um, 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 why don't we eat? Oh, God. Why don't we eat up? Thank you for the bits. I even I didn't even see who did that. I knew it was you. <laughs> Thank you for the bits. <laughs> um, we're gonna go here, I think, and we're gonna we're gonna do a rush blitz. I think. I think it's gonna be you. I think it's gonna be you instead. Oh, I don't know. I, I don't know. Um, it's gonna be... It's gonna be you. Got the pal. Let's put you... Um, Let's put you over here. Bro, uh, got a son. We probably should have pushed him to the sideline. Got a KO, even better. And we'll call that a turn. Turn 11 to the Windbreakers now. Dude, I block on the line. Gets the pal against Robert F. Kennedy. Dead Kennedy's down to 3 minutes, 25 seconds left on the reserve timer. Windbreaker's down to 4 minutes, 22 seconds. 2 die block on Ted Kennedy gets a push on the line here. It's a brawling match on the line. <laughs> this overlay's got to stay on for a couple of seconds more. <laughs> it's really fast. A little over a minute to play in turn number 11. Zero, zero the score. Three rerolls left for the Dead Kennedys, two for the Windbreakers. Doug, considering his options here, still has his blitz in play. He's trying to decide where he wants to blitz his player. Gonna blitz over on the left side of the line. Gets a knockdown here. Clive says, how many total games have you cast? I, I have no idea. <laughs> Lots. <laughs> a lot. <laughs> Gets the knockdown on Joseph P. Kennedy. This is gonna free, well, it's not gonna free up uh, <laughs> under thunder, uh, but he'll get a positive dodge away if he cares to dodge. 
Looks like he's going to try to pick this ball up and move it to mid pitch. It's going to be in front of the ball first. Good three plus pickup by the Blitzer. Gets it in the hands of a Blitzer. Strength of three plus the block skill. That's a very resilient ball carrier. AV of 10 plus as well. Did I block it to push on JFK? You can't knock him down. Turn 11 now for the Dead Kennedys. Oh, um. <laughs> Let's do this. Let's do this. Wacky do I want to get? Um, how wacky do I want to get? Uh, let's see, we're blitzing with the mummy. Who do we want to blitz? Probably Air Biscuit. Um, but I want to come at him this way. So you can come in this way. Um, let's let's do let's do this. To die blitz on air biscuit, the number three blocker. <laughs> Rolled into double skulls. Uh, that'll be a knockdown. I think I will follow up. Danger of lucking on that one. That's okay. Double pals, double pals. Um, we can go here and turn twelve for the windbreakers. Fupala <laughs> says zombies really are the best line when you just walk into certain deaths and slow down an orc. <laughs> I mean, they're so cheap. And if you get a cas if you get a casualty on them, uh, there's a 50 shot that you didn't. <laughs> they might regen. Two die block gets a push on JFK. Did I block double skulls on the left side of the line? Re-rolls it into a push. One re-roll left for the Windbreakers. Signor's Loop says, I seem to roll the same result on a re-roll an inordinate amount. I now give it a five second count for hitting the re-roll. <laughs> <laughs> it's the knockdown on Ted Kennedy. Yes, they are. 
So is everyone on my team. <laughs> Unfortunately, I'm not getting any SPP. <laughs> Twenty-five seconds left in turn twelve for the Windbreakers. They're down to one reroll. Unlike the LRB six and BB twenty twenty, you can spend more than one team reroll a turn. You just can't spend. You you can't reroll a die any one die pool more than once. Blitz on Robert F Kennedy gets the pal here. Windbreakers, Windbreakers trying to tie up. These slow undead players to prevent them from being able to reposition wherever this ball carrier goes. Yeah. Oh, that poor blitzer. That poor blitzer. Two dive block on the line gets a knockdown here against JFK. Looking for a nine plus. And break armor. Turn 12 now for the dead Kennedys. Um, guy <laughs> um let's see um Let's see. Do I want to go this way? Uh, maybe. I think I do. Which means you want to come in here and rush. Which means you'll come in here. So we'll take this blitz first. Two dive blitz on the one who denied it. We got a pal here. Can't get a chain push out of this, uh, Mr. Put. And then, um, move back here. Should have waited to stand him up, but I was, I was getting nervous. All right, now you are gonna... <laughs> You're gonna rush here. Two die block here, we'll get the knockdown. Um, we'll push him here and we'll follow up. All right, so now um, you over here and you want to go uh, here. And that'll be our turn. Fourth quarter begins now. Turn 13 for the Windbreakers. Two die block, two die block on Ted Kennedy. He gets a pal here. Right on the line of scrimmage. This ball hasn't moved a whole lot. Breaks armor. It's a stun. Well done. Good stun. Going in to take a mark on David Kennedy. How dare you? Who do you think you are? The audacity!
Sweet Bunny says, get your second mummy in the match. Can't get SPP if you ain't swinging. That's very true. Very, very true. It's a good point. Two die block gets the knockdown on Joseph P. Kennedy Jr. Don't worry, I know, I know the, I know the judges, I know the commissioners. He'll get, he'll get MVP. It'll be fine. <laughs> A little over thirty seconds to play here, at the top of the fourth quarter. Scores tied zero zero. Windbreakers have the ball on their own four yard line. Two die blitz on Robert F. Kennedy will be a push. <laughs> Moves under Thunder to lock down Joseph P. Kennedy. He'll be going nowhere for the rest of the drive. More than likely. Advances the ball through the hole, the opposing six yard line. Looks like Alvin fails the GFI. Fails the GFI. He's going to have to spend it here. No more re rolls for the windbreakers. And now he's going to mark everyone so that they can't follow the cage. Turn nine now for the Dead Kennedys. Um, you're currently at a one die. You're at a one die with block. You're a two die. Um, we want to get you somewhere that matters. So let's do this. Let's do the two die over here. Uh, where do we want you to be? We want you to be. You might be the blitzer. Do the two die over here. Urga. <sighs> Urga. Er over here. Um, I am going to follow up just because I don't want to have to worry about you coming in on the drive. Um, you'll come down here. You'll block you. To bring you over here yeah I think that's what we're gonna do so you'll go here I want him to I want him to rush so we'll do this first two die block get the knockdown we'll go here we'll um um, let's see, put. Didn't need the assist to get the two-die block there, but uh, I want him here for this. Um, I'll put you here. I'll stay put. Uh, just in case that didn't get me anything. And then you can go... Boy, oh boy. You'll go here. Two rushes with East Bay Ray. Let's spend the reroll there. And I think that's everything we have. Um, 
We should take this block, but I don't want to, don't want to risk it. We're down to down to under a minute in reserve time. Turn 14 now for the Windbreakers. We have the advantage here with the block skill against uh, Barking Backside, but I'd rather him tie him up and force him to have to block in return. East Bay Ray now in on the cage. <laughs> Sigmar's loop says the mummies look like they're moonwalking in the fire. <laughs> Score this game with three turns remaining. What's called Windbreakers with no rerolls. Here we go. We're gonna get the knockdown on Joseph P. Kennedy. Every die roll is scary now. The odds are significantly changed. Got a KO there. Well done. Two man, uh, one man player advantage for the Windbreakers. <laughs> Clive says so much blocking. There must be dozens of players injured, like in my game. <laughs> Here comes the blitz on Michael Kennedy. That'll do it. Thanks to the block skill. That's going to open up a hole for the ball carrier. Well done. Well done. Is he in position? Not quite. He's going to move this ball carrier down pitch. Move the ball carrier down pitch. And then he's going to try. He's going to try to find a way to get players here. To keep anyone from getting in on that ball carrier for a single turn. He just has to hold it for a turn. Taking his time to try to figure out how to set this up so he can score on turn 15. He's now under two minutes in reserve time. Yeah, there's the ball carrier. Moving down to the 14-yard line. Rushes into position. Turn 14 for the Dead Kennedys now. Got to make big moves. Got to make big moves. Um... I mean, I mean, come on. A five plus dodge by East Bay Ray? We can do it. We can do it. Um, let's see. This will be uh, four, five, six, seven, GFI, GFI. I don't like that. Um, let's go ahead and take this block. Two die block. This will be a dodge push. Um, and he can go... He can go here. Follow up. All right. Um, take two die block over here. Get a pal. Put him here. And still put. Um, all right. Um, <laughs> got a player to stand up. Um, all right, so we'll take... Oh, do we want to take this as a blitz? That's what we wanted. Needed the knockdown. Go here. We'll get the follow-up. Ooh. All right, here we go. 
Two rushes. Here's the first. Um, let's go. Let's go. Let's go here. Thirteen seconds left on the t clock. Turn fifteen now for the Windbreakers. They should have brought him in over here, but ah, it's just so scary. Everything's so scary. <laughs> so, uh, today, I've been deciding, I, I, I wanted to make a stew for like weeks. <laughs> so today, I finally, finally made one. Oh no! <laughs> oh, you killed Kathleen Kennedy! First block of the turn is a death. First death of the game. R.I.P. Kathleen Kennedy. Yeah, failed regen. So uh, I've been wanting to make a stew. <laughs> so I finally made one today. But stews take a long time to braise, right? So uh, I did this like in the early afternoon. <laughs> it, it finished up right as my game was about to start. Ah, so I've got a stew. I've got a stew and some biscuits waiting when these games are over. I'm very excited. <laughs> Two-man player advantage for the Windbreakers. Yeah, get in that assist. We'll see if Doug has prayed to Nuffle here. He's going to take out East Bay Ray assist. That's not why he's there. Two-die block on East Bay Ray. Got the pal. It's gonna, yeah, push him out of here. Get him out of here. And now has the blitz on David Kennedy. Should he want to score on this turn? Handing off. Clearing a handoff here. Good three plus dodge away to safety. Well done. Did I block it mid pitch? Gets a pow on Robert F. Kennedy. Can he get the nine plus here? Under a minute reserve time for the Windbreakers. Turn 15 now. Penultimate turn for the Dead Kennedys. Can they stop the score? Let's see who can. Just these two. All right. Um... Oh boy, we've got a reroll. We've got a reroll. Um. Ha <laughs> um. I think you're gonna actually have to be a blitzer. Uh save him in case he fails he can fail over here or fall over um
One die blitz, let's go. Let's go, block versus block, let's go. That'll do it. Oh, I was out of time. <laughs> I was like, let me spend the rest of my time. I'm out of time. So uh, he's still got two players who can score. Let's see if he can pull it off. Three players who can score. Oh, that stupid little gobbo. Oh, that's right. I wanted to stand him up and put him here. Final turn of the game. Zero to zero. Use the goblin to get the assist here. No rerolls left for the windbreakers. Pray into Nuffle. Let's go, Nuffle. Double skulls, Nuffle. That's not a double skull, Nuffle. 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 I love you, Nuffle. I say nothing bad unto you. You are my lord of chaos, my lord of chance. One player left who can score, and that is. Heber, the one who smelt it. He's gonna go for the handoff on Heber. Heber's gonna go for the blitz. Not even taking the blitz with Heber. Gets the not, oh, gets dodge push, but he's gonna push him away to open up this hole. Oh, it's not a hole though. It's a dodge either way. dodge either way because if he pushes here I've still got this tackle zone and this tackle zone all right it's all up to Heber. Here's the handoff. Succeeded on the handoff. Got through the animas uh, animosity roll, got through the catch. He's got to get through two dodges. No, <laughs> that's, that's going to be the game. It's going to be a turn over here, turn. 16 for the dead Kennedys. What can we do? A GG foul, I think. Um. Let's let's take out somebody we can take out. Somebody Ah, uh, it's gonna be you. It's gonna be you. Let's do Uh no, actually let's do you. Right? So if we do a blitz. Stand up blitz here against Takar, the one who supplied it. GFI Blitz. <laughs> We're gonna reroll that. <laughs> and we'll get the pal. He's gonna go over here. We're gonna follow up. Didn't break armor. Let's see what we can do. Let's see what we can do. Got nothing out of the foul. Didn't get called off. Do we have any other blocks to take? I don't... Oh, we got this one. We'll do this one. Get the knockdown. Get a two-die block on Stoke over here. Pal. We'll take a one die block. We'll take a risky block. Why not? Yeah. 
And that'll be the turn. Wait, is this going over? This shouldn't go to overtime. This should not go to overtime. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. <laughs> um, uh, let me let me confer with Doug here. All right, conferring with Doug, uh, there isn't supposed to be OT. Um, uh, I'm going to I'm going to concede the game. We're going to call this a zero zero win. Hopefully everything stays intact. <laughs> At least it's week one. <laughs> um, and if I can't fix this with the uh, the league tools, the league tools are still a little a little uh, a little weird. Um, I'm going to give the win to Doug uh, one to zero just because. <laughs> Um, SPB says, can't you all just pass your turns? No, because then it'll go to kicks. Um, so, well, let's see what happens, actually. Let's see what happens. Yeah, let's see what happens, and then we'll fix this. Hopefully, we'll fix this with the league tools. <laughs> Snuffle once again. Once again with the luster. <laughs> yeah, in regular play, uh, there is no OT, so you can draw in uh, top four and in the Blood Ball U, there are no draws. So we'll see what happens here. This could just be a misconfiguration of the competition, I don't know. I don't think there's been a draw yet, no. If this goes into another OT or kicks or something, <laughs> then we'll just fix it. We'll fix it in post! <laughs> there we go, hey! Hey! Wait, did somebody win? <laughs> I guess there's no animation for kicks. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, the game's gonna end in a draw zero zero, not one to zero. <laughs> oh man, growing pains in the new game. <laughs> zero zero score. We'll see if the uh, we'll see if the interstitial updates correctly. Hey, there it is. Dead Kennedys and the White Skull uh, Windbreaker is going to tie this one zero to zero. Uh, they're going to end up in fifth place here momentarily. After this, we're going to have another game. Remember, we're going to have 
the Dead Poets, coached by SP Beaver and Undead Team, versus Stairway to Nuffle El Duberino's Underworld Team. That's coming up in uh, a little under 40 minutes. So the the stream uh, will, um, you know what? We'll keep the stream running. We'll keep the stream running. Um, we'll kick it back off to the 15 minute countdown in in 13 minutes and uh, and uh, and then we'll get the second game underway. The pregame will start at at 8.50 like normal. So that's sh uh, just under 30 minutes from now. So yeah, I'm gonna get something to eat real quick, get something to drink. Um, we'll see you back here in a few minutes for the second game of the double header. Good game to Doug Minotaur, that was a lot of fun. Um, too bad, <laughs> too bad the competition seems to be wonky, <laughs> but, uh, but that was a lot of fun. So we'll catch you back here in a few minutes. <laughs> 